Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a quick intro for the video. Um, we had a bunch of questions about thick water after finding some YouTube videos about people drinking it, and we wanted to know, will it freeze, will it boil, can you make food with it? Um, just a bunch of really zany stuff, and so we took a trip to our local Rite Aid, picked up some thick water, and this is what happened. Thick water. Thick water. Thick water. Thick water. Okay, so what What did he call it again? He, he called it hangover juice. <laughs> it's gonna cure your hangover. We have returned home. There it is. Greta's going to try some. Oh god, it's like... Ugh. Oh god. Imagine swallowing a loogie is an adequate way to Jeffrey, that. you want to try some? I'll have a sip. <laughs> Pour some in there. Oh, is there still some in there? It's like sour coconut oil. Like, it like coats your throat. I had something similar before. Um, it's similar to um, a glucose gel. Like sugar gel. It's not that bad. It does not taste like water. God, it's tap water. <laughs> That's why you're upset. It's uh -huh. thick and water. Contains two percent. Clear advantage. There's the no clear band. advantage. It's All right. Clear. Okay. Well, we are here to answer the question: What happens when you boil thick water? Oh God! So as you can see, it's in the saucepan. And, oh dear lord, oh god, oh boy, heat is on, now, wait, what did you guys think about the taste of it? Did it taste different, like, it actually tasted like water, tasted yeah, like, water. yeah, there's something sour like gooey about oil. it, sour coconut oil, it's weird, like out of everything it's gonna do, I'm scared that it's gonna congeal, <laughs> Like, it's just gonna turn into jelly and, like, crack. Turns into jello. What if it catches on fire? It's not gonna catch on fire. I mean, soap doesn't catch on fire. It's boiling. Oh. She boiling. We got some bubbles coming up. She boils fast. You can see the, you yeah, can see the heating stuff. element. You see how it's in the circle? Mm. You can see the heating element. Yeah. So it's only boiling where it's touching the heating element. That's well, why there's these two circles. Okay, we're about at 160, 180. We might be at boiling point of water. Not quite. Not quite yet, but there is action happening. Oh, the bubbles move when you move the water. Is water thicker than water? That's the age-old question. Okay, so like it boils at the boiling temperature That's of water. What? Shh. Okay. Right. Normal people would stop here, but we're gonna make some tea. Because what would happen when you tea? Oh dear God! It looks like mucus. And you now, know, you know that scene in the Harry Potter films where the dog like drips down, yeah. and the drool covers it them. It's just thick water. It's just thick water. Water's still boiling. The tea doesn't really. I mean, I can't see much color yet. But it doesn't look like the tea is really taking Wait, hot thick water. Remember, the stay in it. It's gonna look like that. Oh shoot! Is it's it just, just gonna, gonna stay like this way? That. Now, normal people We're might think tea is an okay place to stop, but now we've got ramen you know, that's going in need, the boiling vat of we need thick to have water. An affordable meal. I too have owned. Oh one. god! It just looks like ramen covered in jelly. Oh my god. No, it doesn't. It looks like a slug just like crawled over this. It's like a slug. Oh, pull up the tea bag again. Ew. It's starting to look like ramen. I don't like it. Imposter. Oh god. Well, the ramen is getting like ramen like. Ew, look at the side of the pan. It's congealed. Alright, ramen's looking done. Let's take a look at that. Oh, 
Yeah. All right, shall we? <laughs> shall we pour the ramen into a bowl? I do believe so. College Green students. tea <laughs> and uh, ramen made using the kindness of, oh dear lord, thick water. Ugh. Imagine it's just gonna be soggy. I mean, those noodles do look bigger than normal. Like they grew. <laughs> Well, yeah, they have thicker know, water in them. You know what they say about noodles that grow. <laughs> no, I have no idea what they say about noodles that grow. I'm just saying, this is an actually tasty ramen. Is it actually? We just discover a huge... You're, you're just looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot to eat. I mean, it just kind of looks like it's got like... I'm going to pretend this is like the panda orange chicken sauce stuff. Yeah, it's good. Sauce. It's just like and a it's sauce. It's just gonna be like, yeah, it's a sauce. It's like a noodle sauce. sauce. It actually, no, it fails to taste like a noodle sauce. It's not bad. It doesn't smell bad. That was really a lot. <laughs> Something just wrong about it, like it is a sauce, but it's a really watery it's sauce. No, no, it's not watery. It's like it like coats your mouth. It just gets stuck. No, the world is better off without it. I disagree. <laughs> the tea. Drink the tea. Well, it doesn't look like it's tea, but I'm gonna try and give it a good. Egg drop noodle soup. It's got like the the flavor of the tea was like in the same room as the thick water. <laughs> They're both transported on like different trucks. Yeah, like, they pass by each other. Like, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Don't try and be a proponent of thick water. Don't try and say it's good. It's not good. I'm definitely not having it now. <laughs> You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like that's a lie. It's that is a lie. Oh, I, if you take a big sip, it's like, you know, All right. We have no, one final question to answer. What happens when you freeze thick water? Okay, so it's a few days later. And here is the thick water. And sure enough, it does freeze, it kind of froze in a weird crystalline pattern, like there's a really pretty ice crystals inside of it, right here. It is in fact somehow frozen to the top of the bottle, um, and it, it feels more dense towards the bottom, but I, it looks like it's frozen in both places, so now you know if you do freeze it, it'll freeze to the top, and this didn't tip over or anything, it was upright the whole time, so there is the answer. Anyway, uh, that concludes the video. Now you know. It's a bad experience all the way around, um, but I hope this provides some answers. Uh, my favorite thing that I didn't actually make it into the video is that the thick water was in the fridge for two days, not because uh, we just left it there, but because it took like a day and a half to freeze. So whatever it is, it does not freeze at the freezing point of water, it freezes a bit colder. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully be back with some more videos soon.